Hey guys, it's Megan and today I'm going to be showing you how I got prom ready from everything from my makeup to my hair and of course my dress. So starting off with the makeup, I'm going to first prime my face with Benefit's Pore Professional Primer. Uh, this is a very, very important step so everything just stays in place for the whole entire night. And I'm going to prime my eye area as well with Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Eden and this gets my lids ready for shadow as well as conceals any veins or any redness that my eyes might have. And then next I'm taking my CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation and I'm using my hands to apply this but you can use a brush or a sponge or whatever works for you. I just feel like I blend it out best um, with my fingertips. And then moving on to concealer, I'm using my Instant Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline and using this under my eyes as well as on any blemishes or any redness that I might have. Now we're just going to set all of the face makeup in place by first using Benefit's Agent Zero Shine in my T-zone and then Neutrogena's Shine Control Powder all over my face. After that, I'm going to use Benefit's Hula Bronzer just to add some definition to my face by contouring my cheekbones, my temples, and along my jawline. And after I do this, I always blend out any harsh lines that I might have with a big fluffy brush. And then moving on to blush, I'm using this rosy pink color from Sigma's Born to Be collection. Next, I'm using Benefit's High Beam to draw the light to certain areas of my face in photos, like my cheekbones, and I also like to highlight my little cupid's bow. Then using Benefit's Gimme Brow Brow Gel, I'm going to fill in and tame my eyebrows. And after I do this, I also just comb them out just so that it takes some of like the gel out and it doesn't look as like cakey or anything like that. And then just taking this pencil liner from Sigma, I'm going to line my tight line. And as unnatural and painful as this looks, it's going to make your lashes look a lot fuller in photos, so I suggest you do it. And before I move on to my eye look, I'm going to put some scotch tape in place just to keep a clean line on both sides. And I'm using my Lorac Pro palette for this. So taking the champagne color at first, just going to put this all over my lids. And I am using a um, smoky look for this, but you can always just switch out and interchange colors depending on what you're doing. And then taking a slate in my crease, it's just this silver color, and I'm just going to use this in a back and forth motion just to kind of give my crease some definition. Next I'm just taking matte black and I'm applying this in a v-shape formation to the outer corner and you always want to add the darkest color to the outer part of your lid just so it makes the light to dark effect going from your inner to outer corner and then I'm just blending this all together and making sure there's no harsh lines. After all that, I'm just going to grab white and apply this with my finger as my brow highlight. And this is going to have the same effect as what we did earlier with the cheekbones and Cupid's bow highlighting. And so next, just taking that same Sigma liner, I'm just going to line my waterline with this. And then taking my Lorac Pro liquid liner, I'm going to do my top liner with this and wing it on out. And the tape is going to help you a ton with this step, so I highly suggest putting that in place before you do this. And when you remove the tape, there might be a little bit of eyeshadow fallout, so I just took that off with a Q-tip. And now I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply my favorite mascara, which is my Great Lash Lots of Lashes. And I also wanted to apologize for all of the awkward up-the-nose angles I've had throughout this video. Just don't mind those. <laughs> My mascara faces are so hot, wow, okay. And you can always just stick with mascara, but I added some fake lashes for the occasion. I just didn't film it because it was literally the hardest process of my life. So after I glued those on finally, I went back in with my liquid liner and just covered up all of the glue lines. And then I curled my lashes, my real ones and my fake ones together, and then just added another coat of mascara just so that they would kind of come together as one. Lastly, I just cleaned up any mistakes with a Q-tip, and that is actually the finished eye look. I do my lip color very, very last, so no, I did not forget about that step. But now moving on to my hair, I started off by using three bobby pins to pin all of my hair to the left side just because I wanted to show off the back of my dress. And then I used my one inch QT Performance Clipless Curling Wand to curl all of my hair. And this part is reasonably self-explanatory. And then I just grabbed about a one inch section of my hair and pinned that out of my face. And then I used my big sexy 
Pixie Hair Hairspray to keep the look in place. And finally for the lips, I just used some Burt's Bees followed by this NYX lip liner in rose. And then my lipstick is Max Politely Pink and now my whole look is completed. I went for a smoky eye because of the color of my dress, but you can always swap out some of the colors that I use to match your dress. So I hope you all liked this makeup look and now let's go ahead and see what I wore. My dress is from ASOS.com and I am absolutely in love with it. The silver beading makes it elegant yet edgy and completely my style. My silver cuff on the left is from Nasty Gal and my beautiful corsage is from my lovely date Tyler. To match my corsage on my nails is OPI's Do You Lilac It. My black wedges are Steve Madden and I am also wearing some earrings from Topshop. So I hope this video gave some of you a few ideas to try out for your prom. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and now on to some photos.